welcome back to Frankie Panky's journey. Okay, so today on my way home from work, I was like, I'm really hungry, so I slept at this burger joint. Um, I've been there before, and it's a small little mom and pop place, and I usually get their breakfast burritos, and they're super good because they're huge. But today I was feeling a little something different. So this is like what you call a, a whatever meal, um, everything under the sun. But look at this, you guys, large onion rings. They're huge. So I got the regular size. I didn't realize what regular size meant. So I was like, yeah, give me the regular size. They're huge. I mean, I'll never eat that whole thing. So my sister is going to help me later for sure. And then I got the double turkey club sandwich on sourdough. Mm, so good. And then I didn't, because I normally just get the breakfast, so I really didn't know how large their lunch was going to be. So then I ordered chicken tenders on top of it, you guys. Like crazy woman. I was like, I'm really hungry. I'm going to have some chicken tenders. Then I said, um, I like to have lots of ranch. And so, like, I didn't realize, you know, sometimes they give you the ranch and set small little ass stuff, and you're like, hello. You guys, this bag is full of ranch. They gave me lots of ranch. Like, look at that. Just You can totally see it's just falling out. Just crazy. Crazy, crazy ranch. And they're like big cups. They're not like little ass ones, but yeah, so that's crazy. And then, I got these the other day at Sam's Club, and it's Snapple, you guys, um, mango. And they are so good. Super, super good. So, um, yeah, I wanted something really refreshing today, so... Got some sna Snapples mango. Oh, so good. I love mango and I really like their apple. The apple's really good. So, anyway, first ranch that I'm opening up because um, there's not enough room to put it on, all that ranch on the table. Well, on my tray, anyway. Guys, I'm gonna put it right here in the front. Oh yeah, delicious. Let me dip this. Oh yeah. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Who doesn't like that? I love playing with ranch that's so creamy like that. Oh yeah. Mmm. Delicious, but I'm gonna try one of these. These are good size, guys. Look at that. Mm. And yes, I'm double dipping. It's so good. Mm. So this is going to be probably my last video before Christmas, you guys, because Christmas is coming up. It's like next week. Well, this week, I mean. This week. And so I wonder where my blinky blinks were last time. So I got those up. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. That was so good. Mm. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Well worth the wait. Um, for sure. So. Um, This is actually round two of doing a video for you guys because yesterday I tried to do a video for you guys and I recorded it. So I thought I recorded it. It even said it was like recording. It was so weird. So, um, so I started recording it, got done with it. It was like 35 minute video. Went back to go replay it because I always play my videos again, to like to myself, to like look and see what you know um how it went and um oh hold on really quick my tea kettle's going off hey mom the tea kettle's going off right. so yeah you know it's whistling we have to make our tea because you know gotta keep healthy so in a way um maybe we should take care of that tea kettle i don't think my mother's coming anytime soon one moment Oh, she's going. I was about to take care of that. Okay, so this is round two, like I was saying, because um, yesterday I tried to do a, a, a run for you guys. And, oh my God, look at how big this thing is, you guys. Look at this. This is the double turkey sandwich. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to eat this whole thing. Wowzers. Mm. Oh my god, look at that. Mm. So, I went to do the video. Require, I was already pissed off because I went and got Wendy's for you guys. Because somebody requested Wendy's. So I went and got the double Baconator Wendy's. Um, and got the whole big meal. Get home. I was so pissed off, you guys. Mm. Mm. They have completely done my order wrong. I said, I want the Baconator, but I want the Burger Baconator. Because, I, you know, I was on my way home from work, and of course it was early morning, and they had breakfast. And I said, I didn't want breakfast, I wanted the lunch. Because I'm not really a big breakfast person. I have to be really in the mood for breakfast. And when I go to work, and you know, really super early in the morning I come home. I don't feel like breakfast. I feel like lunch, because you know, for me it's lunch and then it's bedtime. So, oh yeah, look at that. Ah. Mm. So they gave me the breakfast version. I was so pissed. I paid $13 for this, guys. And I was so pissed because I did not want the breakfast. And I was like, breakfast with $13 for a bacon eater? No, ma'am. So I get home and I'm doing the video. And I didn't even know I was breakfast because I was wrapping it in front of you guys. So here I am recording. So I'm thinking because it says recording. And I'm unwrapping it. And right in front of you guys and I look at it, I was like uh hell to the no I was so pissed so not only did they they gave me the fries but they were cold but they gave me the bacon here that was a bacon and eggs and sausage which I was not happy with and she's so gross and then I said I wanted unsweetened tea and they gave me a strawberry raspberry tea I was like what the heck 
heck is wrong with these people? I was not happy. I was like, uh-uh. This is a manager call. Give me a refund. Mm -mm. I was like, $13 is $13. I was pissed. Mm -mm. No way. Mm. Yeah. So, I got all the way home from work, opened it up, and it was like so disappointing. Mm. But, just made up for it. I, then I got to do another video for you guys. And this is like 10 times better. So good. I don't even want to do a video at Wendy's for a while because I was just like so dis disappointed. You know, like waiting through that line, then going through and getting the wrong damn order. Mm -mm, no, ma'am. Mm-mm. So, this is way better. Mm. Except everything's falling out. No, I think it's missing the sandwich with an avocado. Definitely missed an avocado. So, you guys, my sister and I have been working so hard to create a YouTube studio that we can actually designate to where we're not doing it on the kitchen table or whatever. So, we're excited because we're like building this whole room for YouTube studio. So, we're, it's going to be sweet. So, by the first of the year, hopefully, another couple weeks will be done. And we can have like really good meals spread out in our YouTube studio. So we're excited. Mm hmm. And hopefully you have better sound. So it'll be awesome. Mm hmm. Look at that, you guys, so delicious and refreshing. So, last weekend, okay, I need some more wrench. This is not happening. It's almost empty. But, never fell. I got plenty of it. Oh, yeah. These are really good. I'm really impressed by their chicken tenders. They're like huge. So last weekend, you guys, we went to this amazing event. I mean, most of you guys know that I'm like a Christian. So went to this amazing event at this church. It's called Saddleback Church. And it was so cool. It was a live nativity scene. And I've been to plan nativity scenes before, but this one was like really impactful. It was just so well put together. And it was an hour and a half of a drive through Christmas light production. And who spends an hour and a half at Christmas light productions? It's crazy. But this one was like so worth it. And there was tons of people there. But you would never know it because the way they had it like organized, it was so smooth that you were like crammed where you could enjoy it. Like the first 20 minutes was all about Christmas carols on a big jumbo screen like you're watching at a drive-in theater. 
so awesome. And really good jazzy songs. Like they had done their own pop version of the song. So it really like really was different than what you'd hear on the radio. It was cool. And then you drive through the Christmas lights. And you know you have your like Santa Claus lane. You have your candy can lane. And then they had uh, Frozen and uh, Olaf there. And then you drive through at the very end. And that's where I got really emotional and really cool because they had these big jumbo screens with all these monologues on it. And it was so big that each screen had a, uh, a different clipping of the birth of Jesus. And it was so cool because then at the end, it was like Messiah was standing there. And it was just so glorified. It was amazing. It's called Saddleback Church and it's in Lake Forest. And this was the first year that they did it. And it was like so moving. And it was free. So it was really a cool like little thing. But I was like an hour and a half. Nobody spends an hour and a half going through like a drive through Christmas light production, but this one was like well worth it. It was so good. And there was so much room between the cars. I mean, the cars were like social distancing itself. That you never felt like, you know. I mean, they didn't want you to stop, even though you wanted to. So you had to keep the traffic going. But everybody was going so slow that you could still see everything. And clearly enjoy it. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. For sure. Mm. You guys, I'm not even going to make a dent in these darn onion rings. I mean, these are huge. Like, crazy huge. And then, last week, we made gingerbread cookies, you guys. And I am, like, the worst in the kitchen when it comes to baking. I'm horrible. Mm. Absolutely horrible. So, I got one of those pre-made gingerbread kits. Well, I thought they were already pre-made, the cookies, but they weren't. So, I'm in the kitchen, putting in the ingredients. And then they tell you to, like, freeze it for, like, 30 minutes in the fridge. You know, put it in the fridge for 30 minutes to make it hard. So, I'm going to it in there for, like, an hour or whatever. So, after an hour, I get it out, and I'm laying it on the parchment paper. I'm getting the roller, getting really into it, because they give you these little cookie cutters, you know, for the gingerbreads. And all of a sudden, I'm having, like, a two-year-old meltdown, you guys, like, literally. I'm like, Mom! I'm like, it's sticky, and it won't move. I'm, like, freaked out. I'm like, the cookies are rolling out. I'm like, it's sticking to the roller. What's going on? And my mom's like, well, you probably put too much of water in or you put too much honey in or you put too much of this. I said, mom, I just read the directions. So anyway, long story short, they can get us to the rescue of my mother because she comes and puts like, you know, extra flour and forms it back up to where it needs to be and uh, starts cutting out the... <laughs> Of cookies with the cookie cutters. I was like, oh gosh, thank goodness for my mom. Yeah, so, yeah, needs to say I'm not a baker. And I can't even read directions apparently <laughs> because there's another icing on the cake. We start doing the icing, you guys. And they give you this small little packet for the icing. And so, I'm in the kitchen. I was like, mom, I got this. I got my big girl pants on. I can do this. My mom started laughing, right? So, she's just watching me and not saying a thing. Just watching me. 
And I thought the direction said two and a half cups of water for this icing, okay? So I was like, that's a lot of water. Um, it doesn't seem like it's mixing very well. Are you sure it's two and a half cups, Elaine? And I said, yes, mom. I'm like, I know what I'm doing. She's like, okay. And then she looks at the bottle and she starts laughing and giggling. And I said, what is it, mom? And I'm getting irritated and mad. And my mom's like, it says two and a half tablespoons, Elaine, for the water, not two and a half cups. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Episode of I Love Lucy Gone Wrong. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? I guess I didn't have my big girl pants on it after all. Mmm. <laughs> Huge less. Mmm. But I get my mom ended up saving the day on those cookies. She ended up making her own. Homemade icing. I was like, thank goodness for moms that know how to cook. Ugh, I'd be, especially baking, I'd be in a really rut, I tell you. Yeah. So, we made gingerbread cookies. I don't even say I made gingerbread cookies. My mom did most of the work after I destroyed it. <laughs> because I didn't know what I was doing. So, that was that on um, last weekend's episode of Baking Gingers. Um, mm, such a hot mess, you guys. Mm. Crazy. But... This week, I think, there's only about, like, about five days left until Christmas. I think our baking experiences are over for the season. <laughs> At least mine are. Because mm -mm. it's not happening no more. So, yeah. But... But I think we're going to have one more light display. But either tonight or tomorrow. One of the nights we will. But lots of Christmas movies for sure. Have you guys gotten into that episode called Billions on Hulu? It's like really good about the, the trading and scandalous that goes on. It's really good. We just started watching it yesterday. I was like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. What else are you gonna do? You can't go to the movies here in California. They're closed. So, lots of streaming, guys. Time to update your Hulu and Peacock plans. We just watched the last season of Yellowstone. That show is so good, you guys. I love it. Mm, imagine living on that Montana ranch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at Oh, this is so good, guys. Very filling. Mm-hmm. Mm. Juicy. I do want to tell you guys about one more thing before I wish you guys a Merry Christmas but we'll see that for another minute but okay so let's turn on the video
Because what else are you going to listen to early, early, early in the morning other than being on the radio when you're driving into work or like on, in work or waiting for your load to be unloaded? Is you're going to listen to the news. So, I know. I had to wear these one more last time, you guys, because they're so awesome. Look at that. <laughs> the blinky blinks. I don't think these other ones are working too well. I see the yellow one and the green, but I don't know about these other two. But I was like, I have to wear these one more time because they're so fun. So, okay, so there's a new scam going around. And I have to let you guys know this because I don't normally talk about stuff like this. But, anyway, the new scam is, I mean, it's so full, you guys. I'm going to be picking at this. It's so delish. Oh. It is the stimulus check. If you haven't been watching the news or listening to the news, we have not been approved yet for the stimulus plan. So there's a new program going around, new scam artist program, where they're actually texting you saying, hey, if you want to get the stimulus quick, um, fill out uh, all your financial information on this link, click on this link, and it pulls up this link and wants all your financial data so you can get your stimulus check immediately. Well, because everybody's in financial hardship, people are desperate, so they're going to click on that link without thinking and hurry up and fill out the information. And what these scammers are doing, they're gathering all your financial information and stealing all your money. So don't do it, one, because the IRS isn't going to send you a link through a text message to put your financial information through, one. And two, it hasn't even been approved, you guys. We don't even know if we're getting a stimulus check. One moment they're saying we're going to get 600 The next moment they're saying that we're going to get 1200 The next minute they're saying we're not getting no stimulus and it's just going to be unemployment insurance that's going to be increased. We don't even know what this crazy government's doing. So, with that being said, when you get a link, a text message link, don't fill it out. Because it's a scam and they're just going to steal all your money. So that's the bottom line on that. Mm. Last year, you guys, I got scammed. And it was like so violating. I felt completely violated. I ordered stuff on Amazon day after Christmas. And it took a month for my bank to give me my money back. It was the worst experience ever. And I was mortified because I felt like the bank was stealing my money. Because it's like, hello, this is a scammer. You can clearly see this is not part of my purchase history. And, you know, when you have to pay your bills and the money's not there anymore, you know, your credits don't give a crap. They don't. Just like, oh, well, you got scammed. Where's our money? You know? So then you end up having late fees tacked on to your, you know, real bills you're supposed to pay. The bank doesn't care. The bank keeps charging you overdraft fees. So it's like a big mess. You get everything reversed, you get everything paid off. So, yeah, just be careful with these scammers. Like, now I use prepaid debit cards, like, around the holidays. You just go in Walmart and add extra money onto it because these scammers are, like, crazy. I mean, just nuts. And now, with this new scam with the IRS saying, hey, and it's not even the IRS because they don't even send you stuff like that. Uh, if you want to get the stimulus quicker, you know, fill out this link. Or I'm like, uh-uh. No, ma'am. Been down that road before. So just be careful when you, if you guys get one of those because it is a no bueno. Oh. So yeah, so I'm going to order a big old, the attached to our table that we bought for our YouTube studio, a big old uh, microphone so you guys can hear me a lot better. Um, but I'm not going to order it until, like, after Christmas, like, way after Christmas. It's probably going to be, like, somewhere in January or February because I don't want to get scammed. And, yeah. So, 
But we do have some more equipment we're going to be buying and stuff to really enhance our, our videos for you guys. So anyway, I want to wish everybody, guys, um, a really, really Merry Christmas um, and whatever, you know, however you celebrate the holiday uh, with your family, uh, with your grandkids or your kids or however you celebrate. I just want to wish you guys all a safe and blessed Merry Christmas. And uh, we will see you for New Year's because I'm going to do a big New Year's special, you guys. I'm really excited. I got my menu already planned out. And I got all my decorations. And it's going to be a big New Year's bash, you guys. So I'm really excited about it. So, again, um, this will be the last video before Christmas. And wish you a happy Merry Christmas. Bye, you guys.